Hello, this is Justin Brown, and this is Hodgkin's Lymphoma Diary number three. Uh, today is Wednesday. The last diary video I did was on Sunday, so it's been a couple of days uh, since I made something, so I figured it was time. Um, I've kind of hemmed and hawed a little bit over the last couple of days if I should uh, make a video or not over, th over the course of those. Um, have been some pretty bad days side effect wise uh, uh, but ultimately um, I'm glad that I didn't um, I know I said in the in the last video that this video would be either kind of a more structured and informative video uh, or it would be one just kind of showcasing the real downsides of this and uh, I'm glad I didn't uh, do the latter uh, being in pain is no fun uh, having yourself videotaped in pain is, is, is no fun. Um, and I'm, you know, my, my kind of goal aside from making this for me is, uh, hopefully that, it, you know, it helps someone else, uh, that's going through the situation and no one wants to see a video of a person that's just in all kinds of pain and suffering and dealing with side effects. The, this whole process is scary enough without actually having to watch someone live live through it so um, no one wants to see someone at their worst uh, my wife has to see me at my worst and that's humiliating enough so we don't need the whole world seeing it um, I, I guess I go through it I can just kind of recap and I think that's going to be fine so um, that's what we'll do uh, so and the uh, the last video was uh, was on Sunday where uh, we shaved my head. Um, it's still shaved, as you can see. It's uh, But you might notice here that uh, there's actually some black up there, so it is still sprouting some hair. It does feel a little, uh, a little fuzzy up there, and I am still growing just a little bit of hair here, even though my, uh, my little goatee hairs started falling out yesterday, and I actually uh, sat in the spa for a while yesterday, and a bunch of my little chest hairs floated off into the ether. Um, so that's still progressing, but I may have to uh, reshave the top of my head a couple of times, or I may just let it grow out and be like in a in a weird little buzz thing, and see if it's just going to be a a hair thinning thing, uh, or eventually if it is just the the rest of it's going to go. I guess time will tell. Um, okay, so since uh, since the last update, uh, as I said, I've uh, I had a couple of really bad days. Um, I made the, the video on Sunday probably around 9, 9.30 in the morning or so. And uh, around 1 o'clock that afternoon, the side effects really started to hit me. Uh, so just a couple hours later. Um, uh, and it started that I really just got tired. Uh, I became really tired. Uh, just wanted to take a nap and felt uh, felt my little cloud coming down upon me and and then that's what happened by 1 30 i was asleep in my in my chair uh where i was watching a movie uh at two o'clock i was woken up by a phone call and uh, i was able to stay awake uh after that call until about 3 30 uh, uh at which point i told my wife that i wasn't feeling too well and i went and i, I climbed into bed and um Oh, I'm sorry. The uh, video was made was made on Saturday. It was uh yeah, it was mid I shaved my head on Saturday. So we're talking about Saturday here, not Sunday. Uh so I climbed into bed about 3:30 on Saturday and uh that was it for the day. <laughs> my my day was over. I slept until about 6 or 6:30, I think. I woke up for about 45 minutes. Um and then I fell asleep. Um and I woke up at 3 in the morning on Sunday. Um, at 3 in the morning, I was tossing and turning and just achy and, and feeling crummy. And this headache started to get worse. Uh, and I started to feel the beginning of the uh, the jaw pain and the little burning sides of my tongue uh, from, the, from the new Lasta shot uh, starting to creep in. Um, I was up from 3.30 until 5.00. And then I fell asleep again until 9.15 in the morning. I can't tell you the last time I slept until 9.15 in the morning. Um, I woke up. I was up for about 45 minutes. 
I fell back asleep on the couch from now 10 in the morning until about 3 in the afternoon, uh, at which point my, my eyes barely could open. I was so tired. I was so exhausted. I got up and um, told my wife I was going to bed. I slowly walked to the, to the bedroom and climbed into bed, and that was the end of Sunday. <laughs> I fell asleep, and um, I woke up in the evening around 8, um, for about 10, 15 minutes, and then I went right back to bed and didn't wake up until 6 o'clock uh, Monday morning. So the fatigue that sets in, um, just your general body being tired, I did not experience that during the first round of chemo. That's new. Uh, well, I experienced being tired, uh, but not to the point where I just basically slept an entire day away. Um, so, uh, yeah, that happens. It's real, and it feels weird. Uh, you wake up and you don't feel refreshed. You just feel like you want to go right back to sleep. Uh, and so you do, and I guess that's what's best for you. So, uh, that's what, that's what I did. And that was Sunday. Um, woke up Monday and was just hurting all over. Um, uh, my lymph nodes, I, I, the, the pain that you get from your lymph nodes is, it's hard to describe. You, you got over 500 lymph nodes in your body. So there's, 500 little bean-shaped things inside you that can hurt at any point, uh, and they do. Um, the uh, I guess the best way I can describe it is like Christmas tree lights. If you have a Christmas tree and the, the, the lights are strung around the tree, and then each light represents a, a lymph node, um, and then they all just start to twinkle on, twinkle off, twinkle on, twinkle off, up here, up here, up here, up down here, up down here. And every time they turn on, that's pain. Um, uh, that, that's about the best that I can, that I can describe uh, how that feels. Um, it sucks. <laughs> um, but I will say that the pain has been more bearable this time around, uh, than the first time. Um, I don't know by how much more, but there was, there, 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 there is a difference. Um, the headache that I have, uh, that, are, that I've had for the last several days does seem to have been worse than the first time. It's, it's pounding like a sinus headache like someone just shoved a spike right through the side of my head it really sucks um I'm trying to think what else uh, the, the jaw pain has was not as bad as the first time it's just kind of lingering for the last two days it's just been kind of lingering there like a really bad ear infection uh that's down but uh i didn't get the the full burning tongue um that i had the first time uh, just little, you know, kind of hints of something going on, but yeah, the jaw pain's definitely not fun. <clears throat> I haven't experienced any of the other bone pain that they're talking about, unless it's this pelvic pain that I'm feeling, but I really think that's just the lymph nodes going on and going off. Uh, so Monday was a day also spent pretty much bedridden. I, I couldn't get up, uh, and when I did, it was just to the bathroom and back, um, my stomach was upset most of the day, and I made many trips uh, uh, to the bathroom, um, very quick trips to the bathroom. Um, I couldn't, anything I ate just went right through me. Uh, so on top of feeling bad, I was just running back and forth to the bathroom. So it was a day of lying around um, and uh, kind of wishing that it was Sunday again so I could just sleep through the whole thing. Um, at night, I have not been sleeping well. Monday night, Tuesday night, um, up most of the night, just uh, kind of in pain with the lymph nodes turning on, turning off, and, and pounding headache, and can't get comfortable. Uh, Monday night, I, oh, I don't even went to bed around seven thirty eight or so, and it uh, took a long time to fall asleep, and was just up and down throughout the night and uh, ended up on the couch at, at one point trying to keep my wife from waking up and tossing and turning with me. And same thing last night. Last night, uh, uh, went to bed at nine and took a long time to fall asleep. Um, finally did, woke up at midnight because I had used the restroom, woke up again at one and I was up from 1 until about 5. Um, finally fell asleep around 5 and I woke up at 6.30. So I'm, I, I'm tired from, uh, 
from, from lack of sleep at night, and I haven't been able to really sleep during the day. Uh, Sunday just really threw me for a loop with as much as much sleep as I got there. Um, but I'm hoping I can get back on a regular good sleeping pattern. Uh, yesterday, yesterday, uh, and despite all this complaining I'm doing, yesterday was the first day that I really started feeling better from the side effects, as in I, I still had them, um, but they didn't hit me quite as hard. Uh, actually ventured out into the world uh, for the first time in, in quite a while uh, yesterday. Um, I just could not stand being trapped in the, the four walls of my, my home prison uh, any longer, and uh, I shouldn't be neutropenic until um, Friday or Saturday, maybe Thursday. So I took the chance of, of going out into the world and and running some errands and meeting my wife for lunch. And uh, I was surprised to find out just how much uh, or how little energy I actually have. Uh, just by the time I was finished grocery shopping, um, I would taken all the, the wind out of my sails. I was I, I was ready to go home and, and climb back into bed, um, uh, but I pushed on. Uh, I'm starting to experience the, the chemo brain thing a little bit, where you get this fog and you, and you screw things up and make dumb choices and bad decisions and uh, all in the, you're trying to, trying to figure out what's going on and you can't think of the names of things or you buy the wrong things. Uh, case in point, one of the things that I've noticed so far is, um, uh, and I mentioned before that your your taste buds change throughout this whole thing. Uh, nothing tastes like it used to, and most of the things that you love don't taste quite as good anymore. So you, you know, you can kind of give them up instead of trying and trying again to see if uh, they'll taste the same. And you just kind of you got to survive on on bland stuff or really flavorful stuff that just doesn't taste as taste as flavorful anymore. Um, but one of the things that I've noticed, uh, for me at least, that still holds some some significant flavor uh, are sweets. And I'm not a big sweets guy. I mean, I guess everyone has a sweet tooth now and again. But, you know, I'd probably take a nice sushi roll over a Snickers bar 10 out of 10 times. Um, but uh, I've found that sweets still hold some kind of flavor, especially things like uh, fruit snacks. Um and like fruit roll-ups, they have it. So when I was at uh, the grocery store yesterday, I meant to buy a, a big bag of uh, fruit snacks that you can just kind of suck on and, and get the flavor from. Uh, but with the chemo brain uh, working and me not at the top of my game and trying to search this fog, and instead of buying a big thing of fruit snacks, I bought like a three-pound thing of gummy bears instead. Um and they don't do the same thing. <laughs> Just one example of uh, buying the wrong thing. I don't think that was the only thing. I, I'm, I'm looking over. You guys can't see every little like a little sweet stack stash now uh, of, uh, of stuff right here for when I'm not feeling good. Um, I'm looking over there and seeing uh, what I've got. And uh, yeah, at least two things over there were not good decisions. They were supposed to be something else. So... <laughs> um, I haven't experienced forgetting the names of something yet, what they say is going to happen. Um, but I've definitely mistaken one thing for another, and that's weird. Um, yeah, really weird. Um, so anyway, yesterday was a little bit better day. Um, was not bedridden all day. actually spent uh, some time in my spa, as I mentioned, uh, I let the jets kind of pound on my back because my back's been hurting. Um, and that was helpful. So um, I actually spent about a half hour inside there, which is actually pretty long for me. I don't usually sit in the spa for that long. Uh, anyway, so um, now, we're, now we're on to today. Today, um, I'm tired just because I'm not sleeping well. But I do feel better. Um... I've got a little stomach cramping. Um, my lymph nodes in my neck seem to be a little swollen today. They they haven't been for the last couple days, but now they seem to be flaring up a little bit, but that's bearable. My headache is mild for the moment, um, which is good because it's just been pounding like crazy. Uh, but uh, all in all, it did... 
I, I guess I feel about as good as I did yesterday. Maybe a little better. If some of these lymph nodes would stop flaring off, I'd probably feel a lot better. Uh, but if I can take a little bit of a nap and then wake up and feel refreshed, and uh, that would be a good a good sign as to where I need to go. Um, so yeah, that's been the last couple of days. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention, uh, and kind of the, the more helpful sign thing here, is get yourself a calendar. Uh, one like this. Not necessarily one that has... Uh, open this up here. Your regular stuff here. You know, would, I mean, whether you're using your phone or you're using cozy apps or you're using uh, whatever to keep track of your uh, appointments, get yourself one of these calendars where you can write in a bunch of information. And what you're going to be writing in are inside here. Let's see if you can see my little notes here. Um is uh, symptoms and medications you're taking and the type of food you're eating. Um, you'll notice put the time that you have a symptom, the time that you have something to eat, and the time that, uh, your medication. And this is just for you to keep track uh, of what you're doing because, you know, two weeks from now when you get your next dose of chemo, um, you might not remember every single day. Uh, in fact, I guarantee you won't. I can tell you I don't. Um, you don't remember every day of, uh, of how you felt and what you did. Uh, so this little calendar, you know, this little journal calendar, you can reflect back and say, okay, you know, these side effects started to hit me on this day and at this time, and they dissipated at this day and this time. Uh, same with the type of medication that you were taking, and, you know, when you started, when you stopped it, and what kind of foods you ate and what worked for you and what didn't work for you. So, um really important to to have something like that to refer back on also if you have someone helping you out and i hope you do um you know it's something that they can refer back to especially in the times where you're really down in the dumps and you're curled in the fetal position you just you know want the world to end because the side effects hurt so much um you know they're able to look back at it and see what helped and what didn't help so they can help you along the way um other than that i don't really think i have too much more to to say for this um these uh, little entries here are getting shorter and shorter, which I, I guess is good because I don't think anyone wants to sit through another hour and a half, uh, one like the very first one. Um, I will probably do the next one um, either when I'm feeling really good again um, to kind of recap uh, how I got to there from here um, or at some point after the next treatment, and the next treatment will be next Thursday, after, uh, well, if my blood cells are good, um, after the next treatment, that will be the third treatment, which will mean I will be 25% of the way done with the treatments. So, still a long way to go, but still a milestone to say, hey, you know, I'm a fourth of the way there. Um, which is, which is hard. It's hard to think of, uh, going through several more months of this, um, at this point, but at least there's uh, that landmark that's that's coming up in another uh, another eight days. So uh, until next time, see y'all later.